feel like the way she bossing yeah. now I was through yeah. the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack yeah. You can go to bliss, but you see it with the baddies yeah. Last night at the go-go, had her holding up the traffic yeah. Shorty yeah. was designed to close, but she come from hobo man His yeah. whole family yeah. full of bosses, but your fist go in the cost yeah. yeah. she yeah. from yeah. up town, so I called her at the aqua yeah. Tonight she tipping strippers, got the liquor in the system yeah. And we just want a party, whole city coming with us but you ain't got a hate soldier, you can roll with us yeah. It's a nice day today, and I'm counting up bitch That's pretty dark, I don't like Nick, Nick, Patty, Wax I don't yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing yeah. I was through yeah. the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack Had a good day tonight, we eat a steak and lobster I just left Benny on and now I'm on the way to off You know, yeah. as soon I hit yeah. my section, all the girls bringing bottles And the black I be smoking, you gon' think I was a roster, yeah. it's a nice day yeah. today And yeah, I'm counting up bitch That's pretty dark, I don't like Nick, Nick, Patty, Wax I don't yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing yeah. I was yeah. through the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack eh, eh, eh. Down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah Down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Doja, nigga, Doja, nigga. It's a nice day today, and I'm counting up big stacks. Get a dog a phone like Nick, Nick, Patty, Wax. I don't yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing now. Yeah. I was through yeah. the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. You, you can go to bliss, but you see it with the baddies yeah. last night at the go-go. Had her holding up the traffic, shorty hey, hey. was on the clothes, but she come from hobo man. His yeah. whole family yeah. full of bosses, but your fist go in the cautious. Hey, yeah, she hey, from hey. up town, so I called her at the aqua. Yeah. Tonight she tipping strippers, got the liquor in the system, yeah. and we just want a party, whole city. What's going on? Happy Monday. Happy, it's kind of sad for me because, well, it's a new end to a new beginning. Yeah. So today's show, we celebrating my one year anniversary with the Busy with Me show. Woo! So it's like, thank you. I get two birthdays, but I want to talk about who I got sitting next to me. Welcome to the Busy With Me show. You now part of the family. You yeah, always, always. You see you get that phone call. Introduce yourself. I'm Jay. Jay Neal from the We Made Podcast. Me and my brother Kay, we do uh, We Made Podcast. We on uh, all your favorite uh, platforms, iTunes, Spotify, um, Every, Breaking iTunes, Stitcher, everywhere, man. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Check us out. Lord Sirs, uh, you know, talks. Funny talks, we we mix it up. We kind of freelance what we talk about. Yeah. Keep it light. Uh, when I say funny, I'm about to put Jay on the spot real quick. <laughs> Give me a commercial. Y'all got his commercial. Y'all got his commercial voice. For real, quick. Give, give me something. I'm not putting you on the spot. Uh, uh, just do one of your commercials like you, you doing that voice you you do it. <laughs> this is Jay Neal from the We Made Podcast. <laughs> you really sound like a, a one of your voice. No oh, man, way. hey, you got to sell that... Uh, you know, whatever it may be. Yeah, they that's... Want, they want to buy in. That's what's up. But mm-hmm. on the Busy Will Be show today, we going to take some look back at some moments that I had. But before we get into that, um, I, I do want to talk about, you know, one of the things on Busy Will Be, we talk about the violence and, you know, things of this nature. And right on my way up here, um, two people were shot um, oh, man. in the community. I want to say Newbury Farms again. So... Um, shout out to those families and um, y'all we have to stop you know we have to stop killing each other it's, it's a bigger war that we need to be fighting and it's not each other yeah. so I wanted to bring some light to that and um, talk about the weekend because I had such an amazing weekend okay. well kind of sort of let me let me tell y'all this somebody hit the car uh-huh. me, and, me and baby Bella was in the car and um, that was that was scary. I never been um, it, when it's just me, I'm okay. Yeah, but you know, baby, it was different. yeah. So I was I was a little shooken up, but it, everything always could have been worse. I, I I don't know. I have like a lucky came out unscathed. 
Yeah. That's a blessing. Yeah, a little, a little sore, a little beaten up, but most of all, Bella in the studio with me today. Y'all celebrate yeah. with me, but she is Cutie fine pie. and well. That happened on Friday. But Saturday, y'all, my sister, I'm going to call it that. She had the Ike Chella. And when I say it was, <laughs> yeah, it was really, she went all out. Um, one of the, she's a realtor in DMV, Harbor Realtor. I wanted to get him a shout out. Oh, yeah, but, shout um, out to them. It allowed me to come in her space and promote my show and sell some of my products. You know, it's, it's not free. It's hard out here. Yeah, you know. So uh, I, I, had, I had a nice weekend. How was your It was cool. I was... Uh kind of out of town but in the town um i had an incident what you had what happened? um somebody went in my dang yard man and stole some stuff from me but that's, went in your yard mm-hmm. what they still a plant a flower no they stole <laughs> some merchandise oh, <laughs> but we gonna deal with that you yeah, know what i mean yeah, well, I, know, I know they on camera <laughs> of course they, they are on camera. That's what's up. so we gonna deal with that but you know we got um you know even bringing it looping it back around to what you talking about the shootings and stuff man we gotta take more accountability in the community man like you got hard working people out here you know what I mean I mean and it's not they not going for the people they targeting they actually today it was a young girl I mean man, of that's course crazy, we hearing man. about the Maurice's the, you know the fifteen year old yeah we just about to celebrate Makai's first year the, um so that's one of my moments I'll be reflecting on today. But her first year um, anniversary of um, tragically being killed is coming up July the 16th, a date that I'll never forget. Right. So shout out to Makai Wilson's family. And um, that was definitely, because we're going to talk about the moments I had on Busy With B show. That was definitely was a, a moment. moment for me. Yeah. Um, I reached out to her and she blessed me. Um, Donetta Wilson, thank you so much. But that was kind of like my first peek into like the real world that people was paying attention to the Busy With B show. Yeah. because. Little did I know, News 4 showed up in the studio, and it was kind of my first time, you know, being on the news and stuff like that for something great. But um, we're going to talk about my year, and we're going to celebrate the year of Busy With Me. So I got some moments. I sent some pictures. So if you guys are watching on Facebook, you're going to miss it. So you want to tune in to Listen Vision Live. Listen Vision Live. ListenVisionLive.com because I'm... Oh my gosh, look at my first show, guys. <laughs> That's the first That's show. That's me on my first like my first show. It took it was so hard for me to do it. Um look, I was pregnant. I didn't know. Look, I don't even look the same. Ooh, this hard to watch that picture. But let me tell you, this was <laughs> one of the roughest moments for me because again, I was nervous. I knew God had spoke over me. I knew that I was supposed to do a podcast and the story behind that was um Killings. A year ago, um, Weedy and his wife got killed, right. and I, I took the Facebook, and before you know it, I was just did a video and got over a thousand views, and I said, God, this is what I should be doing. Yeah. So here I am today, one year later, celebrating, and um, it's just a moment. And so y'all gonna kind of do the pictures, y'all gonna see the baby and me giving birth to to babies, oh, that's you know, because awesome. I get also gave birth to. Busy with be so that was that was one moment. Oh, this was, <laughs> this was like a recent show. So look at Queen B in the middle. In the I, middle. You know, I, I'm I'm loving that. But that you. was just fellas coming together right there, mm-hmm. and I was just hoping we need more to, than yeah to get the women together. But them fellas coming together, and that's um Vaughn from Love More. I had his clothing on. I have Japers. All of these guys have took and showed Busy with be some love, and actually paid hard green money. And pay for sponsorship with me. So we got uh, Japuris right there. And who else is that? Oh, I got him on. So we got Great right there. And I got his dress on today, guys. Yes. With, so, the, with um, the lipstick that match. Yeah, with the lipstick. <laughs> I, look, I did it in all red. Put the red shoes on. Yeah, you got to do it right for the one year. I, I wanted to really show great some love he get married this year um this weekend actually so oh, they're they awesome. going out of town boots what's up of course i gotta talk about boots dude. i ain't get there yet but that picture is just everything kevin he always steps in and show up with me so if you're not tuned in to listenvisionlive.com you will miss some of these moments Tune in. but i'm just uh speaking you know on some of the pictures that's going across the screen let's see what's coming up next Oh, <laughs> y'all, this was one of my proudest moments. <laughs> I missed DC. It was in the building, y'all. Oh, yeah. And when I tell you, 
It was just, I was very pregnant. It was one of my last shows I did before I went out. Look and she pulled hide. the crown out. I'm always, I always <laughs> try to hide my stomach the whole time. But she pulled the crown out, guys. Oh, that was one of my best moments. Oh, and so this wasn't in the studio. That was um, one of the furlough Cheesecake Sisters, Nikki. And um, I was one of the first people that was fortunate enough to interview her. So I'm just loving that moment. But I was at one of their workshop cheesecakes. It's on the yeah. 1,000. Big moment. And those ladies are now retired from the federal government. Oh, yeah. So their company was named Furlough Cheesecake. And that's Ursula, guys. Oh, yeah. She held, held me down. Held it down. When I wasn't able to be here physically, her and Boots was I mean, busy with be didn't miss a beat. So I'm um, yeah, just one of my moving. me always wanting to hide my stomach. But that was just a fun moment right here on the Busy with B show. So shout out again to all my co-hosts. Oh, and this was the child abuse um show, and it was kind of a sad moment. Again, these ladies right here, um, just celebrating their kids' life, and um, they lost their kids um through child abuse oh really and Man. so um and it's good family that she was members. able to bring light to it yeah you know I mean? um, in two cases i believe it was boyfriends and and quisha in the middle she's actually still going she was the most recent one uh -huh. so she's actually still going through um that situation and i just want to send some love her way thank you for um allowing me to interview you and, and you being story. vulnerable yes thank you so much for yeah. that Woo, this is again one of my first shows, guys. And so that is Shara and that is um Rob. So shout out to comedian Rob and he was like here with me from day one, just helping me get busy with B off the ground. Me, I'm like a little pregnant in there. I'm trying to wear the loose fitting shirts to, you know, hide that. And Shara is doing great things. She actually is supposed to be here today. I didn't follow up with her. But she's doing great things, guys, and um some of the people I had on the Busy With B show. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, look at Chef and Boots. Look at my oh, I'm, boots, I'm right boots there. next season. I'm ready for you to come back home. I mean, you got your own home, but shout out to We. What is it? What's We Ain't? I'm sorry. I should know your. But he's doing a barbecue thing. Hey, send it through the <laughs> Facebook so we know. Boots. If you on here still, my send me Trey a... Shout yeah. Out Trey. Oh, yeah. This was another high moment for Busy would be. Look, I'm going to get my little slim thing back, y'all. <laughs> me and Ersie and Trey on in the studio. So that was another high moment for me. Um, Just to have him in the studio, letting his hair down. Ooh, me very pregnant right there. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Again, I'm with the Furlough Cheesecake Sisters on set, um, interviewing them right there where they make... The magic happened, and that awesome. was just that was big. For and you me. say they retired from the government? They or? retired. They've been on Ellen. They've been everywhere. That's cool. So um, they they I knew it. Their cheesecakes will soon be in Walmart. Oh, that's great. You're not retired, boots. He's talking about he retired. <laughs> yeah. So um, oh that 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 last picture there that was Makaya and her mom. And so that was a moment for me. Like I said, that was one of my biggest moments for her to bless me in the studio with her presence. And, you know, again, remembering the life of Micaiah. And like I said, once you on the Busy Will Be show, you're kind of family. So it's like I show up everywhere. Whatever yeah. I can do now that, you know, Bella's out and I even have her out. So you're on the me. scene. Yeah. I'm on the scene. Yes, yeah. I'm on the scene. That's good. I did you a lot made of a lot of... Um impactful uh interviews i'm pretty sure there's a lot of knowledge people was able to gain you know what I, when you i don't, first don't take that lightly it don't. you know what i mean you know what i don't really take a moment for myself and I, I you know to really see some of the things for myself you know but if it's somebody else i'd be like oh my god yes yeah. congratulations but you know having a moment for myself i'm starting to try to you know i'm starting to walk in it you yeah. know and not apologize for it you know i yeah, really feel go. like be it's proud of purpose. what you do. Yes, it's, it's my purpose, and um, I'm happy. Like, to be able to do something that I enjoy mm -hmm. and walk in that is everything. Yes, we ain't got no name podcast. That's where I stole, <laughs> so that's where I stole boots from. So we ain't I got came no in name the, Yes, we ain't got no name podcast. We, we was like that for a while. Yes, and I stole <laughs> him. I came into the studio, and um, his vibe was good, and... 
it was just he was speaking with so much authority, kind of like how you know I yeah. knew you guys, I mm-hmm. call you up. But if you rub me right, and I just you know, and come on back through. Come huh? on, come on back through. You yeah. know, because it's this nothing. This our like, third uh, edition, ain't eh? Yeah. Like, we both came. Yeah. K came once with the T baby. That was yeah. a good one. Wasn't that a good one? Yeah, that was a good one. I can't show. believe. I know I sent some T baby pictures. I know I sent. But when I say that was one of my, I done had so many moments. Uh, yeah. Shout out to T Baby. I know her pictures up there, the boxing picture. Um, but sh- her, after her win, after her knockout to bless me in the studio with her belt. Yeah, that's I mean, she, like I said, I really did. She there go. You go. I never really take the time to really reflect. But um, it's not me. It's the people wanting to give back and you know buying it to. You know my dream and my purpose. Yeah. It is still some people I'm going to. I'm never going to give up. I'm throwing some names out there. I've been trying to get Lonnie B on the show forever, guys. So I want to throw that name out there okay. because he's from the community, straight from Southeast, and I just love everything he's doing in the game. So get y'all in the know, studio, Lonnie B. Yes, tag him. Yes, I'm putting him on the spot. But I yes. I, I I really would love to you know have that interview and shout out to um, Channel Nine because he he just he did his first sit down interview with um, Channel Nine but he's still oh, the best awesome. the busy will be show yeah come on through man you know come show on your through. presence yes you know what I mean so um, what's up next we went um, through the pictures I know I don't think we went through <laughs> all of them but I wanted to see who was here mm-hmm. Um, I did invite some people, but I know it's not all about, yeah, Jay here, Jay here. Okay. So we're going to have Jay come on and, um, he going to talk about his book. Um, so really, like I said, it's no book is the best business card you can have. When I tell you today, we just celebrating all the past guests It's no script. Oh, look at Makaya and her dad. It's no script. So we, when I tell you, we just going to have a good time today. Um, I do have someone coming to perform, and he confirmed. So it's no script. So you guys want to tune in? Secret? Yes, it's okay. my it's, it's it's my birthday show. Yeah. I mean, again. Yeah, yeah. I can have. I got two birthdays now. Okay. Busy will be. Oh, and Busy Being Beautiful, guys, is my nonprofit. Oh, that's so awesome, So I said man. today that I was going to talk about that. So Busy Will Be is the nonprofit, and um, it's going to be geared towards young ladies. Of course, I won't turn the young men away, mm-hmm. but it's mainly going to be geared towards young ladies and just helping them transition from young girls to women. A okay. lot of times, um, and it happened to me, so I only like to try to speak to things that I've been through. Hi, chef! But anyway... So, busy, busy Being Beautiful is definitely about to be making an impact in the community and all that good so stuff. So, what when you say transition between, what's some of the things you're going to offer? So, um, I'm still going to do my show. So, I'm going to tie this into confidence building um, and things of that nature. I'm hoping to partner with a school because my thing is I want to follow the young girl from 10th, 11th, 12th okay, grade. That's cool. Because a lot of times we get to high school, especially from Southeast, where we from. I mm-hmm. did it, and that's why I'm speaking to it. Um, we don't know what we're going to do after that. You know, our goal is to make it through high, high school. high school, right, You right, know, right. so it's just like, okay, now high school, now what? It's not a lot of forward thinking. Exactly, you know, yeah. and it's taking me all of this time to now know, look, I'm not going to die. Ain't no straight bullet going to hit me. You know, and it's just, it's crazy because even as a young black woman or young lady, you still think of those things. Yeah. I mean, that's all we see. So this program will help you transition no matter what you want to do. If it's military, if it's college, if it's a trade, but just trying to, you know, build your confidence yeah. and let you know you can be anything you want to Personal be. Personal advocate. Yeah, That's you, cool. you might want to be an entrepreneur straight out of school. You might do hair. You might do lashes and all these things that we love. And a lot of times you don't have to go to school right. to, start it. to be great. Yeah. You know what I mean? I say action first. So busy and you can pick up the lessons along exactly. the way. Exactly. Busy being beautiful is exactly that. So, I want to, um, like I said, I was going to have guests just come through. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we're going to put our first person on the spot since I noticed Jay first. Jay, you want to come up? Look, we're not taking no break <laughs> we're going or straight nothing. At it. Yes, hey, hey, hi, hey, Jay. Hey. Welcome. And mind you guys, 
I don't know him, um, like personally or anything like that. But he hit me up, and I said, "Guess what? Today is your lucky day. Today is your day. Because you can come in the studio That's a and promote your brand." That's I bought a gift for you. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, I, um, I'm excited to be here. You know. Welcome. Um, thanks, thanks to everybody in the room. Um, hope happy all the well. The camera well. right here. Yeah. Um, Tell us about your book. Man, this book is something special to me and um, a lot of people that have read it also. It's called um, Divine Simplicity. It's going to be a series. The first one is From Day One and Beyond. Okay. And um, it's just my personal opinion on, like, basic life. You know, like... Where you from? Tell us where you from. I'm from Southeast D.C. Okay. How yeah. old are you? I'm 33 years old. Okay. Okay. My man. And he writing books. He got a book. And this the mean? first. This the first of a series. I already completed three. Um, the next one should be out. This just came out. Uh, probably about three weeks now. Yeah, and I told Jay that I'm gonna read it and all that good stuff. And you will see him again on next season. He's gonna come through. I'm gonna have him on like a book show. We gonna we gonna work it out. I try to build the show around what's going on. But I wanted just because you came through, I wanted to make sure. I show you some love. Yes, indeed. And I do. I have uh, y'all. I'm so pressed to get to this guest. Um, she gonna feed us. What a fool! But uh, and we're not taking breaks. I so um, y'all gonna see live and in, in person what's going on. But Chef Juanita, Chef, is in the building, guys. She has appeared on Channel Seven News. I mean, she's always making a great impact. And um, she knew I was having an anniversary show. And I reached out, and she was one of my past guests, and she's here. So, Jay, thank you so much. Yes, I'm going to read it. Yes, I'll Divine read it simplicity. Time. And thank you for taking time to come yes, to the studio. And I, I wrote a small, simple book, because I know a lot of our people don't read. We don't like and to read. I say I wrote this small, short book that's, you know, hit hard like a Tyson hook, because man, this is something that our youth need, like, with all the imagery and everything that people... Our kids know McDonald's symbols and celebrities before we even know our own history and stuff, you yeah, know? There you so go. this is a picture of me and my mom when I was small. It's just a blessing that she was reading to me. And, you yeah. know, like, our people need to read more, you know, so. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate Very that, brother. Very powerful. Much Thank you. Let me give you a hug. Much Thank you so you, much. This one, yours special. You got oh, yeah, here. Got your name in there. It oh, does. Yeah. Which one? Thank you. Let me get one of them joints, man. Here we go. Thank appreciate you. you I appreciate it, Jay, and I'll be in touch. Yes, All right, guys. Definitely gonna read that. I love to read. You love to read? Yes. I need to read more. I would rather listen to a book than actually read a book. So that's not. I, yeah, I do both, but I would rather listen. The words. So I'm being when you're reading, it's a calm place, relaxing. Yeah. You can use your imagination, creativity, so, raise confidence. I know I said no breaks. We're going to take a quick one. And then um, we're going to come quick right, break. right we gotta back. got to get the food set up, y'all. Yes, just real quick. It's time to eat. Come and win us. But you ain't got to hate soldier. You can roll with us. It's a nice day today. And I'm counting up big stats. Get it up the phone like Nick Mac. Daddy Rocks. Uh-oh, like Beyonce. I like the way she bouncing up. I feel like I'm on the racetrack Had a good day tonight, we need to stay good life to act Just left Benny on and now I'm on the way to off You know, as soon I hit my section, all the girls bringing bottles And the packs I be smoking, you gon' think I was a roster It's a nice day today, and I'm counting up big stacks Get a duck phone like Nick Mac, Daddy Rocks Uh-oh, like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing up I feel like I'm on a racetrack Down, down, down. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah Down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah Big Doja, nigga. Doja, nigga. It's a nice day today, and I'm counting up big stacks. Get a duck phone like Nick Mac, Patty Wax. Uh oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing up. I was through yeah. the money, I 
poppin' like I'm on a racetrack You can go to Bliss, but you see it with the baddies yeah. Last night at the go-go, had her holdin' up the traffic Shorty hey, rap is kinda close, but she come from Hobo Man It's yeah. whole family yeah. full of bosses, but y'all fist go in the coffins hey, And she hey, from hey. up town, so I called her at the opera yeah. Tonight she tippin' strippers, got the liquor in the system yeah. And we just wanna party, whole city comin' with us hey, But you ain't gotta hate, soldier, you can roll with us it's a nice day today, and I'm counting up big stacks. Get it up, don't like Nick Nack, Daddy Wax. Uh oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing up. Yeah. I was yeah. through the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. Had a good day tonight, we eat a steak and lobster. I just left Benny on, and now I'm on the way to up. You know, yeah. as soon I hit yeah. my section, all the girls bringing bottles. Yeah. And the packs I be smoking, you gon' think I was a roster. Yeah. It's a nice day yeah. today, and yeah, I'm counting up the big stacks, get it up, don't like me, knack, daddy, what you, uh-oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing yeah. up, I was yeah. through the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack, eh, eh, eh. down, down, yeah, 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 yeah. Down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Doja, nigga, Doja, nigga. It's a nice day today, and yeah, I'm counting up big stacks. Get it up, fool, like Nick Nack, Patty Wax. Uh oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing now. Feel like I'm on a racetrack You, you can go to Bliss, but you see it with the baddies yeah. Last night at the go-go, had her holding up the traffic hey, Shorty hey, rap is hey. kinda close, but she come from Hobo Man It's yeah. whole family yeah. full of bosses, but y'all fist go in the coffins hey, And she hey, from hey. up town, so I called her at the opera yeah. Tonight she tipping strippers, got the liquor in the system yeah. And we just wanna party, whole city coming with us hey, But you ain't gotta hate, soldier, you can roll with us yeah. It's a nice day Today, and I'm counting up big stacks. Get it up, don't like Nick Nack, Daddy Wax. Uh oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing up. Yeah. I was yeah. through the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. Had a good day tonight, we eat a steak and lobster. I just left Benny on, and now I'm on the way to up. You know, yeah. as soon I hit my section, all the girls bringing bottles and the packs I be smoking. You gon' think I was a roster. Yeah. It's a nice day yeah. today, and I'm counting up. Get it up, don't like me, Nack, Daddy Wax. Uh oh, like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing up. I was through the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. Down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Doja, nigga, Doja, nigga. It's a nice day today, and yeah, I'm counting up big stacks. Get it up, don't like Nick Nack, Patty Wax. Uh oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing up. Yeah. I was through yeah. the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. Yeah. You can go to Bliss, but you see it with the baddies yeah. last night at the go-go. Had her holding up the traffic, shorty hey, hey. rap is kinda close, but she come from Hobo Man. It's yeah. whole family yeah. full of bosses, but y'all fist go in the coffins. Hey, yeah. She from hey, up hey. town, so I called her at the opera. Yeah. Tonight she tipping strippers, got the liquor in the system, yeah. and we just wanna party. Whole city coming with us, hey, but you hey. ain't gotta hate, soldier. You can roll. Yeah. It's a nice day today, and yeah, I'm counting up big stacks. Get it up, don't like Nick Nack, Daddy Wax. Uh oh, yeah. like Beyonce, I like the way she bouncing yeah. up. I was through yeah. the money, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. What's going on? Oh, you yeah. gotta set the camera up. Call me in the mix. They get the. Uh, mm -hmm. the you got food. the good ground. Yes, we have. The chef in the studio, the chef. he says. I ain't wanna go too too long of a break, cause I told y'all we wasn't gonna take a she break. My favorite. But I'm in that good I'm greens. A, I'm in that. <laughs> I'm in that chef Juanita. Way, way, chef way, chef way, no, chef sorry. way. Government, 
chef way mm-hmm. introduce herself again to the Busy Will Be show. So before, look, my mouth watering and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. So hold on, let me bring it back. So Chef Way blessed me uh, when, I, when I was pregnant, the baby over there too. And I want you to meet her. But um, she blessed me then and came to the studio and cooked, I think it was Waffle Mun or something like that. National Waffle Day. National Waffle Day. <laughs> All right. But she blessed us and she had her parents on News 7. She has so many oh, that's great things up. that's going on with her. So I want to let, I'm going to let her talk because my mouth watering for the green. Yeah, so like today, y'all already know, I don't. <laughs> I don't know who gonna stop through. Everyone is welcome, but Chef bless me with her presence. Take over. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Thank Congratulations! You. It's like Busy with B is the birthday, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So happy birthday to Thank Busy you. with B, and Thank shout you. out to Calvin Billy Boots for introducing I know, us. Calvin Boots, we miss <laughs> you. Yeah, um, thanks Boots, cause these greens on point. So, <laughs> so first of all, in honor, did everybody know or everybody know? Um, June is National Soul Food Month. Oh, yeah. So, in honor of Soul Food Month, you have some cornbread and my uh, famous collars. They are rings. famous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And I actually don't use any meat in my uh, there she go. in my mm-hmm. grains at all. So um, no in honor of that, no meat, That's no amazing. meat, no meat, um, because people are changing their diets yes. every day. So you know we're not eating like we used to. So doesn't take away the flavor or anything like that. You still are mm-hmm. able to enjoy our ethnicity, the foods that we like to eat. What's in them? Well, lots of fresh herbs, mm-hmm. and I uh, use uh, like bouillon like fresh mm-hmm. either okay. vegetable bouillon okay. um some onions and just some seasoning so i'm um, also working on venturing out to do my own seasoning so mm. oh, yeah. salt free seasoning and all purpose seasoning that you okay. can use on like your meat and your fish and everything this oh, cornbread awesome. is oh my goodness <laughs> you get the cornbread on yes too. everything is so i really like i'm trying to you know be cute <laughs> and it's like you can't be one. cute with cornbread and greens. Cheese on top of it's thing? a little cheddar cheese, mm. little Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese on oh, top of the cornbread. I'm greedy. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Tell us what's going on with you. Tell us some of the things that's been going on since you've been. Okay, been so here. as you mentioned, um, of course, I um, have done. Actually, I just did an appearance on uh, Channel 7 for Memorial Day. So in honor of the holiday cookout foods that we quote unquote do, I just introduced innovative ways that we can uh, eat some of the traditional foods. So I think I did like um, hot dogs with like a pineapple relish. And I did oh, yeah. um, like our traditional hamburgers with the avocado instead of that using like mayonnaise, an avocado oh, right. spread. And I did, um, I think, like some potato salad with shrimp. Just different ways potato that we can eat. Potato salad with the shrimps. Yeah. <laughs> um, I different ways that, we... that before. <laughs> that just sound good. Uh, but I did a lot. I don't even remember everything I did, but it was a huge spread. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I was on, on Memorial Day. And I'll actually be on again for July 4th. So. Okay, they got you on redial, <laughs> yeah. repeat. Yeah. I mean, and if you taste these she greens. You will understand. Like I'm, re- I'm really trying to stay focused. That I'm, <laughs> I'm from this show right now. Really good. So outside of outside of that, um, which I'm super grateful for the opportunity because again, you know, people don't have to be nice to you and they don't have to invite you to come back. Um, but I would like to think that again, just having the opportunity to introduce some of our foods that we traditionally eat without taking away the history of them, adding new and innovative ways that we can eat. Food so that they're not boring to people because yeah. people don't like boring food. They get tired of the same old stuff all the time. So you know, as I like to say, I judge everything up. Yeah. So yeah. what you really do though, and I'm not. <laughs> when I say I'm not, just saying that it's taking everything in me not to go back right now. You see my plate. <laughs> yeah. So, but what what are some of the things you have coming up? So um, pretty much the thing with Channel Seven, and then I um, just have some local things that I'm doing and local clients that I'm working with uh, for always cooking with my business, just trying to um, pretty much enhance on that. And like I said, with my seasonings, and I am also currently working on the cookbook, which I think I I mentioned the last time that I was uh, here as well. But the spices I'm super excited about because again, it just allows us to have the seasoning without 
all the sodium and mm-hmm. things that we eat. Again, people are just not eating the same How things we that we to. used right. to eat. We get so, older, we get wiser, and absolutely, and and that's what is really you know, food can really like change your life and change how you feel and. I think when you're young, you don't think about that. You you feel like you are invincible. <laughs> invincible. Mm-hmm. And of it's course. just like as you get older, you learn to appreciate this one body mm-hmm. that you right. get. So, mm-hmm. so we I'm just sorry. learn how to enjoy just the current foods that we have, but different ways to do it, and we can still enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So I like to always tell people to just kind of explore ways that you can do your traditional stuff at home just different like i like to take those collard greens i'll take them after like maybe a day or two if they last um and if i'll throw them, in, <laughs> if they throw last. them and i'll put that i'll make like a pesto a collard green pesto and oh, throw it man. on top of like pasta mm-hmm. so that's stuff that you can eat again we still get our greens our collard greens we're not taking it away um just things that we can do to make it different you know what i was sitting over here thinking about because you know on the busy will be show i'm all about motivation and inspiring and i've seen some of the great things that you continue to do and so what what would you tell that young chef that's coming up you know chef is is a big thing now you know um a lot of people um shout out to Keyshawn. i don't even know who my phone is but shout out to Keyshawn. um he's a friend to the show also but a chef and he was an untrained chef um and he's doing amazing things just to watch you guys it's once, possible once i meet sure. you guys and it's just you know an ongoing relationship as you can see absolutely so i mean how would you inspire that that young person that you know feel like oh their food isn't good enough or you know just that motivation you know how did you get past some of this so keep going don't stop it doesn't matter what people say you're never too young you're never too old you see i look one of my favorite shows is shark tank and you look on there they're like young people on the shows to like older people you see like opening restaurants Mm -hmm. so just keep going Uh, study your craft I'm always trying to keep myself innovative and new and keep myself relevant Mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that I am thankful for that I get to go on different news media outlets now because you have to keep yourself relevant and stay around you know people that um, are have kind of been in the game a little longer than you get under their tutelage you know help them with some events and things like that it's not about money all the time although the money is important because it pays the bills but Sometimes when you're uh, learning your craft, you have to get up under those who have been in the game for a while. It's nothing wrong with that. Not saying mimic them, but kind of follow how they do some of their regular everyday stuff. Yeah, what I want to say is sometimes I think starting out um, with anything, um, like I think, because I was such a, I'm such a huge fan of um, Lonnie B's. Lonnie B, I'm dropping his name again. But I was Show such up, a Lonnie. yeah, I was such a huge fan of him that I had to start watching him for a while, especially when I started walk, walking in my purpose. You mm-hmm. know, because you know, you you do you know, you can never be a certain person, you know, but it's just like you do find yourself like, what's up? You know, you find yourself talking and you and it's okay in the beginning because what I've learned is that eventually you develop your own formula. Yeah. So your own voice. It, it's, it's, it's okay to have that person that you look to and sometimes you don't even know you're stealing. You know what I mean? But it, it's okay. But everybody it's has not, learned from somebody. And that's so the point I was trying When to you go to a, a, you start a new job, they, they actually have someone that's assigned to you and they're training you. So right. that person is going to train you not not only like the company template they're going to train you based on what they know what so they know. everybody has been under some kind of training or some mentorship uh, right absolutely mm-hmm. so it's nothing wrong with that you just you take the important things and then you make things your own exactly as your it, own it, it, it happens it. you know you don't even know you're making it your own but it it happens yeah because i have lots of chef friends Uh, We collaborate. We do stuff together. We all have our own thing that makes us all different. Like, I've I've gone, I went to um, a cookout event for a friend of mine like a week ago, and I made a couple of things, and somebody that came, she was like, I know you did da-da-da-da-da, because there's a signature. There's something about what they see that, (laughs) oh, that's Chef Wade. That's Chef Wade. So people know. I mean, eventually, if you start to, you know, develop your own, Thing. People will recognize that. Oh, that's how B does it. You know, that's how Lonnie does it. Or so, is is more of your recipes um, 
like uh, healthy alternatives or you just do alternatives in general just to try different new to keep it fun or are you more pressed towards the health side of things? so in effort for my personal goals to try to eat healthy i eat a lot of healthier things mm -hmm. um but I try to make our traditional foods fun. Okay. It depends on the client or whoever I'm deal dealing with as right. well. So okay. um, I try to make things different. And then I also do, I mean, people joke with me all the time. Some of my classmates and people that have known me for a long time, they're like, wait a minute, you um, have food, food, food. And so I do, I, I cater to all palates. Okay. And so, you know, if you like caviar, you know, I cater to that. Or if you like fried chicken, I cater to that. Okay. So. Um, it just depends on whatever the event or the client. You just okay. kind of, I kind of base it off of that. Okay. So. Diversity. Yes. I am going to drop, drop names. Busy, busy Being Beautiful is uh, going to be in full effect. And that's one of the reasons why I'm stepping away and taking this month off. And just to kind of focus on that nonprofit. So I wanted to drop that to you because I want you to be mindful. Because I would like to, you know, partner with you with certain events and stuff like that. And this is all about motivation and team building. And, Absolutely. You know, of course, when you step in and doing something, guys, you don't always know the answer. Like, it's so scary because... You have to just do it. You don't, you don't always know um, the outcome. Like, I didn't know I'd be sitting here comfortable with able to sit on the screen alone if I had to. But thank right. you, Jay. But it's just... I. I'm just telling you, just take the first step of whatever you want to do. Actually. If you get nothing else from the show, Absolutely. Um, take that first step. And I promise you, if it's something you should be doing, God will reveal that to yeah. you. He'll give you yeah. confirmation in what you do and confirmation with people. I think um, on this part of my journey now and a year later, never did I think that, um, again, it was just a podcast that I was doing here at Listen Vision. And I, I, I try to push my story because, of course, we just looking at it just like, oh, it's just a podcast. Uh, to me, just the impact that I'm making on the community. and You just never the, know who's watching. You, yeah, you, you just never, never know. know. It's, like, amazing. I... I, people that I would not have even think follow me on social media. It's like for real, you follow me. Like, don't minimize <laughs> yourself it because you don't. You just said that. You know, you you know, know I was watching. Yes, I, I have a really bad habit of just, you know, we're our just, worst critics. Yeah. yeah, we are. And it's just like I'm. I'm really learning to, you know, I, I do have a purpose, and I'm, you know, more and more I'm directed to my purpose. Like I, at first I started this LLC, and I was like, okay, you know, and it wasn't really about the money because I feel so rich. Yeah, um, with absolutely. The entrepreneurs yeah. that I have mm -hmm. come on the show, they pour into me, right? Mm -hmm. Without even knowing, you know, this is kind of how God is paying me and paying me forward. And so, with that being said, like you guys come on, you pour into me, so now I'm birth ideas, and I'm. I'm gonna tell you where Busy Being Beautiful came from. Busy Being Beautiful, that name came from um, the guys. Had the guys on the show. Mm -hmm. All of them had their uh, their clothing line, and it meant something to them, and they had meanings behind it. So I was like, I, I was home, and I was on a high because it was such a good show. Whenever men can come together and um, positivity can come out of that. And I was at home, and I called my right hand. She in, always in the studio with me. Y'all see her on my social media. I called her, and I'm like, busy being beautiful. I just yelled it. She was like, huh? What is that? I was like, that's the name of the nonprofit. So it was just like God birthed that in me. But it's just like this is, you know, this is how I'm paid. I get to do something that I enjoy. And now that I'm, you know, I gave birth to Bella finally. Because I was pregnant the whole podcast. I mean, I mean the whole year. So, um... I, but yeah. that's how God is. I mean, yeah. he's so awesome like that. It's, he's already done everything he's going to do. It's just up to it's us to us. walk in it. The, it's so in you, it, have, you can't be scared. You got to step out on faith and just walk in your action, destiny. Action, action, action. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Action yeah, it's just Keep like going. he gave us everything to be equipped with already when, when, when he, you know, he, he birthed us for real. I think that's what holding a lot of us up is we wait until 
learn and, and wait until everything is perfect. To, it's never yeah. going to be perfect. It's never right? going to be perfect. Look, Just do get it. Get started. Start and with go. your iPhone. Start with your Android. You don't have to have a Canon starting out. Just start. Yeah, just start. Just start. That's the main, that's the just, hardest thing. Uh, the the point first of it. thing, it's just like working out. I got to speak to that. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I got to speak to that. Yes, yeah, honey, Shantae, one of my, my family members, <laughs> she said she addicted to working out the other day. And I was just like, I want to be addicted to working <laughs> out. Once you start, you will. And it's just, just like, like that first else. step. Yes, once you start, you know, every week, even when I come in the studio, uh, Rahel is saying, oh my God, you look different. You look. But it's, it's, you know, I never had to really work out. I always had an athlete, an athlete body. But um, it's just, you know, I'm older now and I just gave birth. So, yeah, you got to get addicted to something. But you got to take the first Just start. Step. Yeah. That's it. Make just sure it's start. Good. So. Yeah, just start. That's the that's the thing. Yeah, just just start. Go. Action is the word of 2019. My Action. Word. Yeah, Action. we still got time left. You still have time left. So start the book. So if start someone the start the book, yeah, start yeah. The book. Yeah. write the business. Yeah. Man the wrote business our book, plan. man. If he somebody wants to find you, where, they, where, where can they find you? So my website is www. Uh, dot always cooking so all is with two l's mm -hmm. ways uh cooking without the g dot com and then my social media outlet uh, both facebook and instagram are always cooking and you know okay. what i'm going to add her she don't that. know this i'm gonna add her to busy will be dot com right now and it's still dot com but it will be dot org soon <laughs> and so i'm going to add her so you guys can always find her if you as seen as as seen on Busy Would Be, I have my own little session, so you guys can go to busywouldbe.com and, that. and Busy book her for your events. I mean, the food is, it, we not lying. Yeah. The food. Right. I mean, it, the cornbread is still melting in my mouth right now. I'm mad <laughs> that I tasted it because now, hold on, I got to swallow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I had a moment. Jay, did you catch it? <laughs> I ain't going to say enough. We're going to eat the cornbread and eat the green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I set myself up with that one. Yeah, I hope the kids excited. are not watching. <laughs> I'm a lady. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Mm -mm. Hey. Okay. <laughs> you can drop a pen in the studio. Mm -hmm. oh, where, where can they find you? Oh, uh, when, uh, we made the podcast at gmail.com. We're on all the uh, podcast uh, platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Breaker, Google Podcasts. Oh, I mean, wait. go on Instagram. We, we, we made underscore the podcast. Um, Twitter, we meet, we made podcasts. And Facebook, we made the podcast. And, you gonna, and, and back here, right? We'll be, we'll be. And yeah, back here. One of we oh, made, made, made. Bird, M -A -D -E. made it. I love it. Bird him. with the word. So, oh, yeah, so let me talk about Bird real quick. He just walked in the studio with, I don't know if his partner in crime with him. Steve, Steve here too. So his music, I'm gonna try to get him on so he yeah, can. Steve. He, look, he's in my iTunes. Like I think I screenshotted it just to show a bird that I really do take. I do really take listens. So if you guys are artists out there going into next season, I'm looking for you. Yeah. So hit me up, DM me, um, or email me. Busy will be um, at gmail.com. Send me your music. I got to like it, though. I'm sorry. If I don't like it, <laughs> exactly. you know, it don't get played. So that song that y'all hear um, all the time on Busy Will Be, it's a nice day today. These guys are behind it. So let me let them squeeze up here and introduce themselves real quick. Steve, yes, you have to talk. <laughs> and not, no, 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 not that. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Come on, Bird. Okay, come on, Steve. 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 Thank you. Steve. Steve. Shout out to Steve's, man. What up, what up, what up? Hey, what up? Or, or to the we made. You have that, um, do you have that song that I sent you? All right, because we're going to play that real quick. I'm going to let him close out the show, okay? Real so, quick, I want to announce that I got a partnership. I'm about to drop my clothing line. Yes, got indeed. got a whole bunch of stuff coming online. The District Collection on Instagram. We also got a partnership with Mr. Rotisserie. If you go up Georgia Avenue, 3503 Georgia Avenue, they got a chicken spot that we're going to start cross-branding some of our stuff with songs and clothes and just a whole bunch of stuff. So look out for Steve's. He on 
Instagram, on iTunes, on Spotify, Spotify. everywhere. Yeah. Like music for real. And for really, real. in my iTunes collection, I hope you got that message. Because I ain't had Steve number. I wanted him to show that. I wanted that to show that. We always got that last yeah. drink was showing us. That yeah. fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, okay. I want to try to get Steve set up real quick. Bella going to be in the shot. All that. We going to close out the show. Um, um, I ain't even see Bella. Yeah, we going to we gonna close out the show and let him perform. Again, guys, I'm taking a month off. So, I'm going to be enjoying Hiatus. my family, enjoying my baby, working on a nonprofit. I would like to do my first event um, for going back to school. Um so guys, um, if you know someone I can partner with, or you know someone that I, that can take me under their wing and want to show your girl um, how to get it done out there in the community, I'm gonna be reaching out. I'm not shy at all. So um, mm, not at all. can I say one more thing? Yes, I'm good. sure y'all already touched on it, but just because we all love DC up here, I want to take the time to say, you know, don't mute DC. Go oh, go yeah. madness. Definitely. No. We all oh, seen it. Hey, they was on. The, did y'all talk about that yet? Oh, y'all ain't no, talking. Okay, we we'll do that next show. The, in a month. The, the, in a the month. Next show, bring me back. <laughs> but when I tell you, yes, well, we, got, we, got we, made, we made the BET yeah, that's award. Big for us. That's big for us. Oh, it was up there cranking. Yes. Yeah, big old back. Yeah. And if y'all see Taraji, yeah, oh, I was like, I was living at home. I was like, Yes. So if you missed that, guys. Yeah, shout out. To, look, I'm watching the food, by the way. Mm. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Because I'm yeah, trying Lord. to take all the leftovers <laughs> home with me. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to introduce Steve's. Steve. I'm going to let Bird introduce Steve's. Yeah. They in the, they, they your backup dancers. Oh. Hey, y'all, the studio is packed. I want to give we a shout out to... Day, man. Uh, Live from the corner, they Live come the on corner. after Next. me, guys. And when I say really good show, they yeah, they real good show. yeah, really really good show. So check them out. They come on after me. Yeah. But I'm gonna close out the show. Yeah, we're gonna introduce Steve. S T E E, the number three Z. S T E E, the number three Z. Steve's on Instagram, on iTunes, on everywhere. Yes, there's music. Not sure what song he doing, but we got a nice day. Uh, out. It's an unreleased song called Racks Up. Okay, Racks Up. Purple Steve's out now. Everything Steve's out now. Steve's in season two Steve's out in now. We're going to drop and another mixtape next month. Oh, and then you guys, Steve's, you don't know this, but y'all working on my song for next season. Mm-hmm. Y'all already mm-hmm. said, y'all already know I bust the rap. It's serious. Oh, yeah. It's going on the down. Birthday. It's going on the beat down. Day. She was up here rapping. Yeah, so it's going down next season. Y'all will hear my voice on the song They Write yeah, For Me. Man. we going to work it We're out. We're getting it done yeah, somehow. We're going to get it done. We're finishing it. It's summer. It's getting done. <laughs> All right. Steve's coming to the stage. I'm going to miss you guys, but I'll be back in a month. We made it. Peace. Oh, hold on. I don't All know right, if my, engineer, oh, my producer not oh, ready. he ain't ready. He ain't ready. We oh. made it again. Just a second. Oh, let me get some of this. Cornbread. Huh? Mm-hmm. Had a good day tonight. We need to stay good long time. Yeah. It's teasing it a bit. Uh-huh. Oh shit, I got some racks up. I'm in the front, little pussy just backed up. I'm in all this money I stacked up. All this pack in the back, ain't wrapped up. I'm in smoke on gas, I don't match, bro. Wouldn't know what I did, go to class, bro. Never like to subtract and just add up. I don't know why they hate, they mad, huh? Oh shit, I got them racks up. I'm in the front, little pussy just backed up. All this pack in the back getting wrapped up. Only smoking on gas, I don't match, bruh. Wanna know what I did, go to class, bruh. Never like to subtract and just add up. I don't know why they hate and they mad, huh? If I'm swiping shit, matched up. Mama's all in my Russian cream. Put on the gun, I'm gassed up. I'm counting these hundreds too fast, bruh. I know some niggas that matched up. Ready. 50,000, no better. 50. My shooters be straight to the cash, bruh. Niggas be actors like last cut. Money. I'ma stay on my task. My task. Fill up my with pink ones. Niggas is pussy, they big cunts. Gucci Chanel, the bitch one. Go get the money and flip it. Shoot when I ball, no pivot. I give her my all and she feel it. I get that pack and she sell it. Tunnel vision, yeah, money to bitch. I like commas and a whole lot of digits. Jack and Grants talking 20s and 50s. 20s and 50s, yeah.
Oh shit, I got them racks up. I'm in the front, little pussy just backed up. Stacked up. Pack in the back, it wrapped up. I don't match, bruh. Go to class, bruh. Tracks just add up. I don't know why they hating, they mad, huh? Oh shit, I got them racks up. I'm in the front, little pussy just backed up. All of this money I stacked up. Pack in the back, it wrapped up. I don't match, bruh. Go to class, bruh. Like to subtract, it just add up. I don't know why they hate me, man, huh? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Each and every Monday, you guys have been right here with me on the Busy With Be show, on my Facebook, all that good stuff. I feel the love. You guys are in my inbox. I'm 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 gonna walk in my purpose. I'm not gonna apologize for it, but I feel the love and it's much appreciated. Busy will be next season. I am looking for a new day and time, so i I may very well won't be on Mondays. So um keep your eyes and your ears open and I'm gonna see you guys next season, season two. See you soon.